All right, let's see what we got here. This is uh, the United States Code definition section. You look this up anytime you want. And if we scroll on down, although this is all very interesting, I'm sure you'd enjoy reading it. But we get down here to number 10, person. A person includes, which it's debated a little bit, but the true meaning of the word include means include exclusively certain things. Um, you have to actually add included, but not limited to if you want it to mean that. This doesn't say included, but not limited to. It says include specifically. So that's an important concept, but natural person. So it self-defines already. That's a little shaky already. You can't really define a word with its own word. It doesn't make the same like it doesn't make sense but we got natural persons which also includes an individual Indian glad they let us know that a corporation a partnership an unincorporated association a trust or an estate or another public or private entity including a state or a local government or an Indian tribe so they're trying to say you because I know you, most of you or at least have at least consider yourselves a person and they want to say that you being a person is equivalent to an Indian tribe or the state or a trust or an a state right or other public or private entity or a corporation well and see if you notice everything down here aside from trusts which is weird uh, trusts generally aren't corporations they're not supposed to be but these are all corporations States are corporate, they're all corporations. A person is a corporation. So a natural person still must be a corporation because they're all corporations, which is fine. They're talking about corporations, that's cool. But then you got to wonder how you get caught up and why you call yourself a person. And there's a reason for that. <laughs> and maybe sometimes you are a person. I don't know, whatever. Or at least maybe you're pretending like everybody else is. But that's an important concept. It's all about pretending. Um, these are fictitious entities. They're not a real entity. They're, they're not alive. They don't exist. Uh, they're just like ideas on paper that exist within language and communication between people. So, you know, that's it. Like, the only reason you think you're equal to Coca-Cola and that you can sue Coca-Cola, or even that Coca-Cola is better than you, they have more money, you only believe that because you were taught to believe that. It's like kind of uh, in a... It's a choice, definitely, to believe that. It's also a, a belief system to believe that. So it's like a belief system, which kind of bridges into that. And you're believing in something that's not real. That's like kind of openly not real. So I'd suspect that uh, it's a like a spiritual belief system to believe that, you know, these fictitious fictitious entities exist and that they own things and that you can owe them money, like banks or the government, you can owe them money or allegiance or something like that, even though they like don't exist. It's kind of almost worse than believing in God or something, because it's like God might exist, right? But any God might exist, <laughs> potentially, I guess. But we know these don't exist at all. Like it's well, it's established and accepted that they don't actually exist. So moving on. Property is an interesting one, too, but I want to get down here. So it says the state. We already know the state's a person. It said it above. And it means any of the several states. The District of Columbia. Huh. The District of Columbia is a state. The Commonwealth of Puerto Rico. Interesting. Commonwealth of the North Marianas and any other territory or protection in the United States. And then now we get down to 15, which is the important part. The United States means a federal corporation. It's a person too, because it's a corporation like all the other ones. And then all the rest of this is just derivatives of the original, but it's a federal corporation. And <clears throat> maybe I'll type it in right now and search it. But the word federal means interstate. And so it means in between corporations or it means in between nation, you know, international, right? That's really what it boils down to interstate. They're in between everything else. So it's technically not like it's an international organization. It's not even in the same, it's a foreign the United States is technically a foreign corporation, everybody. So, and all of its agencies, it says agencies, departments of it, and it says that 
up here a state means any of the several states or the District of Columbia, and I'm pretty sure they're technically territories, because it says, uh, yeah, any territory or possession of the United States. So you're only a state if you're territory or possession of the United States, so wherever you are, it's foreign to you too. Technically, the state you're in is probably pretty fucking foreign to you as well, technically. Moving on. The 14th Amendment here <clears throat> is about the rights of citizens, apparently. And it says all persons born or naturalized, which is interesting because most of us are only born, but I guess you can get naturalized. Uh, they say we're born, at least. In the United States and subject to the jurisdiction thereof, right? So it says you're subject to the jurisdiction because you're born or naturalized and you're a person. It says all persons. So is it really talking about you? That's a real question here. You gotta wonder. You gotta wonder. Because apparently corporations can have citizenship sometimes, or all the time even. Yeah. So, this applies. It says you're subject to the jurisdiction of the United States because you're a person. If you think you're a person. That's kind of, I mean, it's a belief system. You know, you gotta believe these things. Uh, you, gotta, you know, like, do you believe that corporations are you know, have rights, that you're equal to them. <laughs> it says all per see, because uh, corporations have rights, too, under the Constitution. You know what I mean? Like, um, you can't illegally search and seize uh, Taco Bell. You know, you're not supposed to do that or whatever. They, they have rights. They're a person. The public here, which is what I'm really getting down to. This is Black's Law Dictionary. Pertaining to a state, nation, whole community, whatever, right? So when they say state, they mean pertaining to the state's a person. We already went over that. It's a corporation. So pertaining to the corporate state person. The nation and the whole community, that kind of revolves in that whole you believe you're part of it. So it's almost the same thing because honestly a nation and a whole community kind of boils down to becoming a corporation on accident or on purpose anyway, right? The state's a literal named corporation. Everybody else, the public, you know, they, they, uh, they call it body politics sometimes or whatever, you know, it's like it kind of turns that way anyway. So it means the authority specifically, right? And if you go to Oregon statutes, public body has the meaning given in a different statute so check that out and it says as used in the statutes of the state <coughs> public body means the state government bodies local government bodies and special government bodies right i'm actually gonna screen capture that because <laughs> i'm gonna use this next time i go to the store if anybody gives me shit i'm gonna say your shit doesn't apply to me although that's not what i say i say i have a medical condition for now and like 10 other things do but it's a public body, and I should go look it up, but all your states, any state you're in, or any country you're in for that matter, because they all have the same bullshit they're saying. It's the universal commercial code or whatever everywhere. And uh, it all says it's the general public or the public whatever that has to wear masks and the public has to shut down, public businesses, whatever. When they say public, they mean them. It's uh, And obviously... The governor can order their own employees around, sure. And you can quit if you don't like it, basically, I guess. Because there ain't nobody to enforce law against them, really. I mean, unless you want to sue them. It's hard to do sometimes. Yeah, whatever. But, you know, here's the thing. It doesn't apply to you. The public is the state, right? It says it right there. Black's Law says it's the state. It's the first definition. The rest of that is derivative. The 14th Amendment says that if you're a person... And you're born or naturalized in the United States, then you're subject to the jurisdiction. So don't be a person. Which is pretty easy to avoid. The United States Code says the state means any of those corporate shitholes and this corporate shithole. And now we go over here. What else did we find? Dead. Oh, I passed it. Whatever. You get the point. It just doesn't apply to you. And it's bold-faced, obvious, that it doesn't apply to you. The fact they used public. They could have said something else. 
They could have said persons. You know what I mean? They said public. Even persons would have been confusing, honestly. It's, look, how can how can you be equivalent to a corporation? Simply. How can you be the same thing? How can you and a corporation have the same rights? Corporations don't even exist. They're a fictional entity. If if somebody said Harry Potter existed and that they were owning all the property for him, they're just administrating it and they're just the CEO of Harry Potter. Like, would you just believe Harry Potter existed all of a sudden? No. I mean, it just doesn't make any sense. It's all it's a fictional entity. <clears throat> you shouldn't go to court with them. You shouldn't take them. Like, I mean, they're not real. They can't speak to you. They can't prove anything. And the thing about their administrators is their administrators aren't taking any liability. They, they don't put their money where their mouth is and they're not willing to actually like bring first-hand evidence or make any actual claims so they're nothing to worry about but generally but it's a real issue when everybody thinks they're part of the public you know i guess moral of the story is none of the written shit has ever applied to you unless you're part of their cult it's a religion they have it's maybe an atheistic religion, maybe it's, although I don't think it is, I think they worship something, but, because, I mean, obviously they have an invisible, fictitious power, so I wouldn't call that very atheistic, but it's like uh, nihilistic or something, I don't even know, what a secular, I think they call it sometimes, or something, secular, and if you believe an ounce of their shit at all, um, you're basically in now, because, I mean, like, if you believe you're a taxpayer or a person or a citizen or any of that shit, really, you know, now you're in. Now you're part of the state. Now you're part of the public. It's a registered name. Names are names. You're you. You can technically have a different name anytime you feel like it. Legally, even. Or lawfully, I should say, rather. But legally, too, actually. You can just go get a new name. It's not that hard. People get secondary uh, social security cards and stuff. I've heard of people doing it. I don't know why you would. I don't know what the actual meaningful reason to do it, but it's not, like, illegal. You can have, like, another name and another Social Security card and stuff I've heard. I know you can get multiple Social Security cards with different numbers, just entirely different numbers for your own name. So it's, like, it's a big joke. It's a big joke. And everybody who needs to know knows, apparently. Uh, like, you know, you go, like, five, six levels up in a corporation, depending on how big it is. It's, like, they know what's going on. They can just let you pass half the time, too. But... Yeah, I would uh, not take this shit that seriously.